Hi, Bowie said you gotta hit the notification bell, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let's support Bobby's channel, thanks. All right guys, welcome back to Ask a Farmer if you're new. My name is Bobby. Guys, this is the show where you can ask our food producer, Rob, whatever question you might have about modern day food production. So today's question is, what percentage of global crops is fed to livestock? The short answer is 55% of global cropping goes straight for human consumption, 15% go to biofuels, 5% goes to other, that's like cotton and rubber, and that leaves 25% for livestock feed. 2% of the crops that are planted are earmarked to go straight for animal consumption. So they're grown specifically to be fed to animals, only 2%. Then the rest of that 23% is failed crops that were grown for human consumption but didn't reach a high enough standard. For example, in Brazil last year, they grew 110 million tonnes of soybeans. Now, they exported 85 million tonnes to Asia and the Asians paid $450 a tonne. So that didn't go to livestock feed. But the remaining 25% of that Brazilian harvest, when they tested it, wasn't good enough to export. The Asians wanted more, the Brazilians had a drought and they didn't have enough to export. That bottom 25% didn't make the grade for export quality. So what did they do? They would have fed it to livestock, would have gone to chickens, would have gone to pork, and would have gone to herbivores to be fattened up. So that product was never grown for that purpose. So there's some really strange numbers that get thrown around on the internet that are very disingenuous. The vegans will say 80% of global cropping gets fed to livestock. So it doesn't really matter about the bi kill because they're eating such a small amount less that they're only responsible for a tiny percentage. But that's simply not correct. If you take something like this corn here, when this goes to a factory, they strip off the vegetable matter. They take the corn kernels off. The corn kernels are where the energy is. That's what it was grown for. So the cob that's left, that gets smashed up and turned into livestock feed. The vegetable matter, that gets turned into livestock feed. So by weight, this product here, 80% of the weight of it gets fed to livestock. That is true. But it was never grown for that and it's not worth any money. No one would grow up for the, for the cob. The same is true for wheat. 20% of this wheat plant, when it goes into a factory, 20% of it will be stripped off and be waste product. What happens? It gets fed to livestock. My numbers are very easy to check. What you do if someone gives you a number, you look up the global production figure for those for that product. So say look up corn, and then take off the 30% for biofuels, which is what corn was used for. 30% of corn was used for. Now that's the high end product. So then divide the remainder by 7.7 .7 billion and that'll give you an average consumption. So when a crop is grown, 25 to 30% of it doesn't reach high enough standard for human consumption. That leftovers gets used for feeding chickens, pork, dairy, and then a bit of a gap and herbivores. Now the feed they get fed in the feedlots is seconds. You can see from the video, you know, there's, not, there's nothing in there that you would use for human food. You know, as you can see the odd grain, odd bit of corn. It's got, it's got quite a lot of almond husk in at this feed. So you can see from that, that the cattle are getting seconds. So they're not eating anything that anyone else would use. We're turning a waste product into a useful protein that can be fed to people. So if we took away that from the global food production system, we would have to grow a shitload more grain, destroy a shitload more habitats, and damage the environment. So be relaxed about eating meat-based protein because that crop was never grown for that purpose. It was grown to feed people, fell short, gets converted into something else useful. Thank you.